Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera everyone. This chapter will cover on topic 2, unstructured data, the first part. So by end of this lesson, you should know number 1, what is no SQL databases? Number 2, how are they different from SQL databases? And the third one is what are the types of no SQL databases? So we used to store data on a paper. For example, we have a form here. So we have form. Example is application, student application form. So here we have name, IC, address and so on. Right? So we use, this is what we call as data. And then we say that we used to store these data on paper. So this form is in paper. And then after that, this paper will be stored in the cabinet. This is a manual way of storing the data. But then eventually, we store them online. So we store them online where all of those data will be stored in databases. But then how do we manage and pool all of these databases? So this is where SQL comes in handy. SQL is a language that communicates with the database. However, SQL is used for managing RDBMS. In which data is defined in relationship. And data is stored in column and row. I hope you still remember on RDBMS. So in recent years, overflowing of unstructured data has become a major issue. Hence, here comes NoSQL to the rescue. NoSQL is defined as non-SQL or non-relational or not only SQL. What it does is it stores and retrieves data that is mo not modeled in row and columns only. And then not only SQL may support SQL-like query languages. So these are the applications of no SQL databases. Let us see the differences between NoSQL versus SQL. Well, NoSQL databases, it is a non-relational model. But then in SQL database is a relational model where each table is related to another table. If you still remember how are we going to do those relational those relationship is we use the ERD the ERD that is entity relationship diagram next no SQL it stores data in JSON key value graph and column so we will see this later on in the slide uh, in the next slide but then no SQL stores data in table and in this table, it has rows and also column. Then, no SQL, new properties can be added on the fly. Meaning that, say, um, if you have another attribute, you can add them without altering the schema. But then, if you are dealing with SQL databases, you have to add new property but then you need to uh, re, uh, alter the schema first. For example, you need to alter all of the ERD. 
NoSQL is very good for semi-structured, complex or nested data. But then SQL is just good for structured data because it deals with row and columns. In NoSQL, relationships are captured by denormalizing data and then all data are presented in a single record. In SQL, we have to normalize the data first. So, if you still remember, we have unnormalized form and then we need to normalize them to 1NF, 2NF and 3NF. You may go and revise this on your own, but then this is what, what we call as normalizing back the data. And then we need to use uh, joins to resolve the references across the tab table. So the references would be the primary key and the foreign key. No SQL is very dynamic and flexible schema. But then SQL is very strict schema because you need to follow all of the um, schemas that available so you cannot change it you cannot simply change it you need to have um, so much uh, what they call that alteration inside there 